Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We're Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We've got another what sold video for you today. We are going to go over um, today's sales and I think this last weekend's sales. Kathy's going to go ahead and show you what has sold for us right now. Hey guys, I'm going to run through our weekend sales really quickly because I have to run and pick up my consignment sales stuff and my check. Um, so we'll start with eBay sales. Um, like usual, most of the sales this weekend were from eBay. Um, first up is a pair of saltwater sandals. Uh, if you watched our recent My Consignment Thrift Haul, these came from there. Um, have $5 into them and they sold literally within minutes of me posting them for $19.95 with free shipping. Normally I'd list these around $25, but um, they were just a little dirty and I didn't want to clean them, so I listed them a little lower and they sold. So, quick profit. Okay, next up, this is a pair of girls Nike jogger black pants. Nothing special. These sold for $14.95 with free shipping. Um, these ones, so I technically, I guess I have $3.53 into them, but that's because the way we did the breakdown is I just divided my total for the day on this thrift haul divided by the items so like these pants were only technically a dollar but then some shoes I bought the same day were like eight dollars so it divided down into 353 an item so I wouldn't have paid 353 for these but since that's the way we did it I'm making more profit on the shoes that are selling if that makes sense so that's how we usually do our breakdowns on thrift hauls unless I'm buying like a ton of one dollar stuff and a ton of hundred dollar stuff Anyways, hopefully that made sense. All right, next up, um, this is a pair of Fry clogs. They have wooden heels, some braiding straps. These took a while to sell. I'm still happy with the sale, but I listed them. I listed them really high to begin, probably like 70 bucks. I've been slowly lowering the price over each month. Um, they were down to $49.95 with free shipping. Somebody watched them on eBay, so I offered them $39.95 with free shipping, and they accepted that. I did pay $10 for these. Fry is a good brand to look out for, um, and these were in pretty good shape. So I was happy to pay that, and I would pay it again even if it... I think these took six months to sell, but I would still pick them up again. Okay, next up, uh, this is the brand Clark's. These are just some men's like moccasin loafers. I have seven dollars into these and they sold for $29.95 with free shipping. This is actually, um, what was I trying to say? Oh, this was an offer that I sent. I listed them for $39.95 with free shipping, but I just wanted to sell them. So I offered $29.95 with free shipping. Um, they did fit in a padded flat rate. So that's why I was okay to lower the price so much. Um, if they didn't fit in a padded flat rate, they would have been closer to like, these ones are going to Puerto Rico, so probably $12 or $13 to ship a two pound to there. All right, next up is a pair of women's Roxy shorts. Um, these, I've had a number of pairs of these. I think this is the last one, but don't quote me on that. Anyways, these sold for $24.95 plus shipping. I bought them off Kittizen for $3 and change. Up. This is just an H&M girl's dress. I have 50 cents into this from a garage sale. These only retail for like $5, but for some reason they still resell for in the $12 range, which is what this sold for, $11.95 with free shipping. Okay, next up, uh, this one I sealed because I had to make sure it fit in there before I bought the label, but uh, this is just a Disney Jack Skellington hoodie um, from Disney Parks. This came from the Goodwill Outlet, so the bins, I have about a dollar and change into it, and it sold for an offer I sent of $14.95 plus shipping. Okay, last eBay sale of today is just a boys Volcom rash guard, just blue, nothing special. This was my son's, um, I did buy it at Goodwill, so I only have about a dollar into it, and it sold for $12.95 with free shipping, and this sold in just a day of being listed. All right, next up, this is Boys Bowden swimming set. This is was also my son's. I pulled like all the swim stuff out of their drawers the other day because Kidism was doing their swim hash flash. And since it's summer, I know people are buying. So I was like, well, let me go through and get rid of the stuff we don't really wear. So this is one of them. I think we might've worn it one time. And I bought it off Kidism last year for $22.50. 
I sold it for 28 with free shipping. So basically just breaking even on that. Next two sales are Kittazin sales. And these are just some baby girl keens. These were also in my recent um, consignment thrift haul. Uh, they just sold the same day I listed them. I listed them for $24.95 with free shipping. The person got them with my 5% off one shop discount, so they paid $23.70 with free shipping. I did pay $8 for those. Again, I know some people would never, but I just like profit. I don't care if it's $5 or $30. I knew those were going to sell fast, so I think I doubled my money within one day. So I'm happy with that. I don't have any sort of really rules as to what I'll pick up. I just pick up brands that I know are going to sell. All right, next up, this is the brand June and January. I don't really find this brand thrifting very often, but if you do, it's a decent one to look out for. Um, these were my son's. I don't remember where I got them or what I bought them for, but they sold for, I listed them for $17.95. Someone bought them with my 5% off one shop discount, so they paid $17.05 with free shipping. And honestly, I don't even think they retail for that much, but I don't think they make them anymore. Don't quote me on that either, but I don't know if they make the swim shorts anymore. And if they do, like certain colors people just like and they're willing to pay more than retail to get them. All right, next up we got two Mercari sales. Um, these, again, my son's shorts. These are Patagonia baggies. Um, I bought these off Kittas in like a year ago, put them in the drawer, pulled them out this last week, and he just has a lot of swimming stuff, so I was just gonna let these ones go. I did only pay $14 for them. Um, I listed them for 30 plus shipping, and someone paid that full price, so I'm really happy with that. Um, somebody had off, well, Somebody had messaged me before the person bought them outright asking if this was my lowest price. And in my bio, it says that I don't really answer messages on pricing on Mercari. Like it says, I will consider offers via the offer button, but I don't respond to messages. So I didn't answer her message and then I woke up to that sale the next morning. So I was happy with that. Um, the person that asked that is not the person that bought them. is another one from my recent consignment thrift haul. These are those mini Melissa silver heeled booties. I paid six dollars for these at the consignment sale and they I listed them for like 35 and someone offered 30 plus they're paying the shipping of 11 dollars and so yeah really good flip there. Okay, and then last up is we had five Poshmark sales this weekend which some of you are probably making 20 Poshmark sales a day or a weekend but I've not been having much luck on Poshmark lately, so I was thrilled to have this many Poshmark sales. All right, so first up, this is the brand Cabernet. I don't know what this brand is, but I only picked it up because it was new with tags and it was my size. Like, I like nightgowns, so I was like, well, I'll list it. If it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it. And it did sell fairly quickly. Um, I did pay $5 for it because I was willing to keep it for myself. I listed it for $25. I offered it. I did an offer to Watchers for $20, and then I paid that $2.12 shipping discount, so I made about $13 in change on that. Next up, this is the brand Onisuka Tiger. Is that how you say it? Just the ASICs. Um, I have $5.99 into these. Someone offered me $23, and I accepted that. They're a little bit dirty on the toe area, so I was just happy to make some quick cash on that. Um, the Anasuka Tiger A6 always sell really well for me. These are just some Tiva sandals. I bought these at Play-Doh's Closet just a couple weeks ago for $7. And I listed them for $35. And then I sent an offer to Watchers of $30 plus the $2.12 shipping discount. So I didn't screenshot what I made, but I think it was just over 20 bucks that I made back on these. So yeah. Again, that was a really fast flip. They had a ton of likers right away. So definitely would pick that up again. I love selling Tevas. Another pair of shoes from my recent thrift um, consignment haul. So just over the weekend, I've already sold four pairs of like the 20 that I listed from the kids shoes. So very happy with that. These are some Birkenstocks. I paid $6 for them at the consignment sale. I listed them for $40 on Posh. Somebody offered me $30 this morning and I accepted that. 
And last up, a um, pair of men's Wrangler um, jeans. I don't know if you watched my first thrift haul video where I paid like $114 for a whole bunch of items. These jeans were in that haul. Um, so I have $353 into them and I was worried that they wouldn't sell just because they were a crazy size. They're 34 by 38, so super, super tall. Um, but yeah, they only took a couple weeks to sell. I listed them for 30 or 35, I think. Someone offered me 20, and since I just was worried that they wouldn't sell, I was just happy to take that offer. I probably could have got a little more, but quick flips are what I live for. All right, guys, and then I just looked at my phone after I said that last sale and I noticed I have an offer on Mercari for another pair of shoes that were from my kid is in thrift haul this weekend. So I listed them for 25. Someone's offering me 20. So I'm going to accept that. I don't remember at the, off the top of my head what I paid for them, but I'm guessing around $5. So hopefully it doesn't have a payment declined. All right. Nope. It accepted. So sold the item $20 for those little baby Adidas shoes. <laughs> hey guys, we will start with eBay sales for today. Um, first up, a pair of women's Crocs Mary Janes. Uh, these are size 11, so one of my favorite women's sizes to sell. Uh, they've only been listed a couple weeks. They sold for $24.95 with free shipping, and I paid $5.99 for these. Next up. This is a pair of also Crocs. Um, these are a little girl's a Mary Jane style Croc. I paid $2 for these at that JBF consignment sale just a few days ago and listed them and they sold within like 48 hours. I listed them for $17.95 with free shipping and someone watched them so I offered it to them for $14.95 with free shipping and they accepted that. Next up, these are just a pair of apartment. I don't even know if it's apartment nine or a point. It's the Coles brand, APT.9. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, these are just from Coles. I only bought them because they were new with tags and they were like a linen brand, linen blend short um, and a good size, size 14. So I did pay a dollar for these at a garage sale and they sold for $12.95 with free shipping. They were listed for $14.95. I sent an offer to Watchers for $12.95. Okay, next up, this is Gianni Beanie. This is probably one of my oldest items, probably like two years old. Uh, a while ago, you know, before we were really full time, um, I was just doing it for fun. We used to like to go to estate sales and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we went to this one estate sale. They had a really, like normally the clothes are not that good at estate sales. Like it's a lot of like older, just like out of style things. I don't know if that sounds mean, but just not stuff that I'm buying to put in my like Poshmark store. So anyways, this one was like nice stuff. Anyways. It was a downsizing estate sale. They weren't dead yes. old people. <laughs> so anyways, they have nice clothes. Uh, we bought a few things at their regular prices, which are already pretty reasonable, like $2 a piece. Uh, but then I asked the people what they do with the stuff at the end if it doesn't sell because there was so much clothes there, like a whole room full, like boxes and boxes and boxes full. And obviously I didn't want to pay $2 a piece for hundreds of pieces. And they said that they just donate it. So I was like, well, can I, you know, just make an offer on it all at the end? And then they said they'll give me a call. So they gave me a call and they let me have what was left for 20 bucks. So. I just took it all, some of it was garbage, you know, nothing, just not good stuff or stains or holes. I just thrown that away or if it wasn't good stuff, I would donate it, but I did get a lot of good pieces out of it. This was one of them. <laughs> Obviously probably not a good piece because it took two years to sell, but this came from that sale. So that whole story, <laughs> just to say, we got a whole bunch of stuff for 20 bucks and this is probably the last thing to sell from there. So yeah, I only, I basically broke it down to 10 cents a piece that we kept, so yeah. I have 10 cents into this. It sold for $12.95 with free shipping. I would not buy that again. <laughs> if I ever see Gianni Beanie in my life, I'm not buying it. So, uh, next up. So, that was it for eBay. Uh, next up is Mercari. This is the brand Native. Um, these are new and tagged. I got these at the JBF consignment sale last week as well. Um, 
I did pay $12 for these. I figured I could get about 30 for them and I'm okay with a $10 profit. Uh, so yeah, I listed them for 30 plus shipping and somebody offered me 24 plus the shipping. So I accepted that. Um, not quite a $10 profit, but a quick flip and I knew that they would sell. So I was okay putting up $12 for them. Yeah, and I, and I want to remind everybody, we're going to have a JBF uh, video, consignment sale video, coming up soon. And we actually, that's an example of something that we sold old stock that wasn't selling online, got some money for it, and then she was able to source there and turn that into money again. So um, you, stay tuned for that kind of video coming out soon. All right, so next few sales are going to be Poshmark. Um, this sold this morning. These are Banana Republic, like animal print and animal hair flats. Um, I got these for $5.99. I listed them for $35. Someone offered me $28 and I accepted that. Next up, they sold today. Um, some Under Armour cleats. I picked these up at a garage sale for $3 last weekend. And I listed them for $20. Someone offered me $15, so I accepted that. More Crocs. So, are you seeing a theme? We sold four Crocs in the last 24 hours. Um... Yeah, I just listed these like an hour ago and I got an offer like 30 minutes after I listed them. I listed them for 20, someone offered 15 and I accepted. I got those at the JBF consignment sale as well for $3. Okay, and last two sales here are Kitizen. First up is a bundle, well they're both bundles. This first one sold to a friend. So I listed, so this is like a Disney Hong Kong Mickey Mouse ringer tees. So I just thought this was so cute. So that's why I picked it up. I love ringer tees. I did pay $3 for this. And then these Crocs are not the traditional Crocs. They're more like of a water shoe style. Um, just a toddler boy size. And I paid $3 for these at the JBF sale. So this came from just a local thrift store. So anyway, $6 is what I paid for both items. Um, since a friend is the one that carded them, I had the Crocs listed at 20 and the shirt listed at 18 but since it was going to a friend I sent her a good offer of $26 for both and that includes shipping so after shipping and fees I'm making $18.20 so not a huge profit but I'm happy to give deals to friends and repeat customers which she is so all right last up I sealed this one up just to make sure it fit in the padded flat rate and thank goodness it did because it's it would have been a three pound rate if not which would have been $12.50 to ship so if you can fit anything in these, do it. Um, so this was a bundle sale. It was a Columbia Omni Heat jacket. Um, I showed you that in my haul a couple weeks ago. And then um, some Converse furry doggy puppy shoes. So I had the jacket listed at 60, the shoes listed at 24, and this person just bought it outright with my 20% off shop discount. So she paid 67.16 for both items. The shipping in this padded flat rate through Kitizen is $7.75. So after shipping and fees, I'm making back $51.78. And I had $3 into the jacket, $3 in change, and then the shoes I had $5 into. So really good profit on that sale. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and pack them up and take them off to the post office so we can get them to their new homes. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we do these kind of videos all the time. Um, primarily what solds, we like to try to uh, show what's selling kind of right now or like, you know, in the last few days. Um, we also have been getting into thrift hauls and other kinds of videos on how we resell. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button, give us a like, um, do all that stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.